welcome to Quiet Cat's video series on maintenance. In this video, we're gonna talk about tire pressure and what pressure is appropriate for different types of terrain. On our fat bikes, we spec the Kenda Juggernaut four inch tire. This is a traditional fat bike tire, which is a tubular system. So it's gonna use an inner tube inside of the tire. This tire has a range from five PSI to 30 PSI, which is a massive range and there's big disadvantages and advantages based on what end of the spectrum you're in. So we'll start with low pressure. <clears throat> you can run as little as five pounds in the tire. At Quiet Cat, due to the weight and the power behind the bike, we recommend not going any lower than six pounds. Running six to eight pounds is great for soft sand in the beach, snow, or super, super soft terrain where you need the maximum amount of tire deflation, tire deformation, and grip from the tread. The tire's max is at 30 pounds. Again, for the weight and the power behind the Quiet Cat, we recommend maximum pressure at about 28 pounds. So the reason you would run 25 to 28 pounds in the tire is if you're riding on super hard surfaces such as the road or very, very compact dirt such as logging roads or farm roads. Most of us love to run it right in the middle at about 20 pounds in the rear and 18 pounds in the front. This is gonna give you a good balance for soft terrain and hard terrain, as well as enough resistance against pinch flats. When you run softer pressures, you increase the chance of getting a flat tire. When you run the harder pressures, you decrease the chance of getting a flat tire. However, the trade-off is always there. The harder you run the tire pressure, the less grip you're gonna have in soft and variable terrain. So of course the tire pressure is always a compromise. So you'll have to find what's gonna work best for your terrain and your riding style. If you do have a flat tire, super easy to replace the tube. Check out our video on how to replace an inner tube on your tire.